Hello and welcome to Hairdressing Live. I'm Paul Davey and today I have a very, very talented guy, a multi award winning salon group. It's Sean Taff, everybody. Welcome anyway to um, Hairdressing Live. Thanks, Paul. Um, Sean is responsible for growing his team to 60 plus staff members. I mean, even that alone is incredible. Um, I mean, you have five businesses, you have three salons, you have an academy. Right. And you have a, a barbers as well, don't you? That's right, Paul, yeah. Um, in the west of Ireland, um, you, ha you and your team are really, um, or have really created a lot of noise within the industry, within the awards. And that's not like, um, like it's within all the awards that you've won throughout the years. I mean, I, you've, you've created um, such a, a big name for yourself um, within Ireland. And I just love the fact that you can come on and do this with us today, because I know you're a very, very busy boy. You do a lot of education um, throughout Ireland, um, and you were just telling me there today that you, you have some education things coming up throughout the year, don't you? Yeah, um, we have our academy in, uh, in Tralee, in County Kerry. Mm -hmm. um, we, have, uh, we have Andrew Dunn actually coming in on the 26th of March. He's down uh, in, in the academy doing a two-day uh, uh, course, so that's a, an exciting uh, that's one excellent. for us. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're, you know, obviously where we're situated in Ireland, it's, um, you know, it's kind of challenging, obviously, to, to get all the artists there. But yeah, we're delighted. Yeah, Very good. So you basically get different hairdressers to come down and do presentations or courses with yeah, different academy. platform artists. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, again, it's, it's great, you know, not to have everything centered either in Dublin or London or whatever. It's great to actually bring people in. Um, so, yeah. That's very good. So it's not just Sean's half group. No, You're not at all. Bringing different not influences. at all. No. It might even be Paul Davies. Who <laughs> knows, you know? Well, I'm a busy man. You yeah, know, yeah. But, uh, if the price is as right, as Paul. Price is right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I certainly would love to do that. Actually, that would be amazing. Um, I think that phone was for you, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so listen, take us back to when you first established. You, you established the salon um, in 1989. Sean was two years of two age. Two years right? of age. That's My right. God. Yeah. Yeah. So you were 16, were you? 16. Yeah. Well, you I first went into business. Yeah. Well, it was again. It was accidental more than anything else, Paul. I uh, I started hairdressing two months before I was 14, mm -hmm. and uh, when I was uh, 15, I was just literally doing hair out of my mum's back kitchen. And uh, eventually she got sick of it. So uh, she I kicked you out. She kicked me out. <laughs> and, uh, you were that age at one time. You just look at yourself and go, my God, I'm so young. But do you know what? Did you have like an older brain or something wanting to go into business? Because I was like that. I was 17 moving over to Ireland. And, uh, you know, I mean, just take me back to that 17, 16 year old Sean Taff. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I never had any desire to have a, have a salon. Mm -hmm. All I had a desire for was to do what I do and, mm -hmm. and educate more, as in get educated more. Mm -hmm. And for me at that time, you know, that was my only means to an end. If I wanted to actually do courses, I needed money. And at that time, believe it or not, the average wage was about £35 a week for a trainee. The average course was 100 per day. So it wasn't going to happen yeah, unless yeah. I earned money. And that, that was it, really. That was the driver. No, totally. That was on 35 quid a week. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly yeah. what I was on. Yeah. Back when I was 17, I got, I used to pay rent and things like that. It was crazy, yeah. actually, I don't know. Uh, I mean, um, okay. What is, I mean, you, you've, you've had the salons now for a number of years and you're, you're 60 plus staff members. Hmm. I mean, tell me, what is the key ingredient, in your opinion, um, to a successful salon? Um, Again, I suppose I, I look at like a successful salon like a successful column. I, I mm. kind of have the same approach to everything. And it, as daft as it sounds, and I tell this to any person that starts working uh, with us, uh, if Vidal Sassoon himself is standing outside the door when your client walks out, would you be happy for him to look at it and you say you did it? Mm. And if you're happy, then that's fine. If you're not, then the client shouldn't leave the door. Yeah shouldn't walk out and if you can operate every single client like that you know forget about you know tomorrow forget about this forget about that while you're with the client wow them in every way you can and the rest is kind of simple really do you know it's it's, it's not rocket science yeah, um, yeah yeah i totally agree i mean that that philosophy has possibly stood all the way through your career mm. do you believe anything has changed since 89 since you've started that first salon, do you think it's changed like your your whole mindset of like 
like customer service or whether it be like the technique, education, what, what, what's yeah, your well, mindset I mean, changed? Ev everything is, is changing, Paul. And I mean, again, Hairdressing Live is incredible because it gives us an opportunity uh, to learn, to platform, etc., etc. But like, you know, everything is evolving. I mean, clients are evolving. The client, clients that I, 30 years ago were very, very different to yeah. today's clients. Totally. Clients are nearly more savvy than the hairdressers, you know, what, yeah. what, what they, they know. They want value for money. Absolutely, and rightly yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, rightly so. Yeah. I just think people are coming more educated due to the internet. Mm. They're more educated, so they're coming in and they're telling you as well. Yeah. So it's very important, I mean, for stylists, nowadays to be so educated to be so ahead of the game because clients come in and ask for these things and if you don't know them you don't look i mean you don't look like you're especially in sean taft's salon or in davy day in my salon if they if my guys don't know what they're talking about it just looks weak you know yeah i think it's very important for people to be in, in tune with trends and fashion and you know catwalk trends and you know models and icon you know icons and just be very very knowledgeable within their industry i think very, very yeah. And it doesn't. It actually doesn't take long, Paul. Even last night I was there, and it was like the uh, Milan uh, fall shows, and like three minutes, and you're able to kind of flick through Vogue and online and actually see what what the trends are. So there's no real excuse for someone saying, "Oh, I don't really do this, or I don't really do that, or I haven't got time." You know, we're we are we're all busy, but this is our livelihood. You have to invest in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Look, before we, because um, I know we're short on time, and I know we've got to get ready to to go live. Um, but listen, tell me a little bit about what you're going to do today, just in, in summary, realistically. What okay, are people going to yeah. learn from today's class? So when you asked me, Paul, uh, to come on, I, I, what, what my main kind of thing was, I wanted everybody to, to go away with something that you can use on the sand floor day after day. And the orbital technique for me is actually one of our, our, our foundation techniques. I know in Tony and Guy, and you know, soon everyone has their foundations. Um, we actually have like the forward graduation, which is part of the orbital technique as one of our core um, haircuts because it's so, so important. Um, as I say, use it every single day, variations of. Um, suitable for multiple kind of face shapes, but I'll explain that during the demonstration as well. Okay, great. I just think it's a fundamental, successful haircut. Which, I mean, again, it, it, it used to perfection is, is like, it's invaluable to the, uh, the clients out there. Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen, um, if you don't have your ticket, um, you can go to hairdressingmike.com and buy Sean's class. You get lifetime access to that, so you can just click on and buy that um, today and join Sean's class at 11 o'clock. So thank you very much, everybody, and uh, we'll see you all this afternoon for uh, John Engstrom's. Uh, interview. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Bob.